Are you on the hunt for a new blow dryer but don't necessarily want to hurt the bank? Trust me, I am there with you. So today, we will try this bad boy out and I will let you know if it's worth the money and if it's a good, all around, affordable hair dryer. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. On today's video, I will be trying out this very pretty and affordable Waster blow dryer. I was very excited when Waster wanted me to try out their blow dryer, not only because it is amazingly beautiful, but also because it retails for $38. And if you're a mama or just anyone on a budget, you know that finding a good product that one, works well, and two, doesn't hurt the bank is definitely something amazing. It's the best feeling in this world. So today, we will put this bad boy to the test and I will let you know the goods, the bads, and if it actually works as well as they say. Let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I have wet hair and I am going to be trying this blow dryer for the very first time. If you have been watching my videos for a while, then you know I did a video on a blow dryer. On that video, I found a blow dryer that I swear by. It is my all-time favorite blow dryer I have ever had. But my hair has become this big part of my life recently, and so I've been playing with it and just having fun. I recently chopped it off and then I went back and chopped it off even more, bleached it, and then had a little bit of silver put in there. So I've just been having a lot of fun with my hair lately. So when this company reached out to me, I was super excited to try their blow dryer because I've been doing so many new things to my hair lately that I was like, oh, this is so fitting. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna tell you that this blow dryer retails for $38 on Amazon. I will read you a little bit of the description on this blow dryer. It's right on Amazon if you wanna look it up. This claims to be low in noise, super lightweight, so that's good if you travel a lot. Cool shot button, it has a two speed and a three heat setting. Cool shot releases cool air to lock in the style, which is something that my current blow dryer has as well. I like to just do the cool feature and it does tame my lion hair and it kinda of just does away with the frizz, which is awesome. I like that feature. So it comes with a concentrator nozzle and a diffuser. All right, enough talking. Let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Okay, so this is what the hair dryer looks like. Can we just stop and talk about the amazing, beautiful purple color that this blow dryer comes in? Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I was like, yes please. I love the purple color. If you saw my last blow dryer video, you know I am obsessed with my black and rose gold blow dryer because I feel like why not make it a fun color? It's such a tedious task that I feel like if it has a fun color, you're more likely to enjoy it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I love that it was a bright, vibrant purple color. So let's just open this bad boy up. So when you first open the box, this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have the big diffuser, which is awesome, especially now that I have really short hair. I think this is gonna come in really handy, so I'm excited that it comes with this. And then it comes with this little nozzle that most hair dryers come with. We're very familiar with this one. And then, ta -da -da -da, in the bottom of the box is the blow dryer. Ooh, yay! It has a very long cord that is definitely a plus for me with any hair tools. I love a long cord because then you're not fighting with the cord. So, and also if you know me and you've been watching all of my videos, you know I love anything that comes with a little Velcro to keep it organized and tidy. So, I see you, Waster. Ooh, look how pretty. It is so beautiful. It's definitely very light. It feels like a good blow dryer. The finish is like a nice, soft, matte, velvety feel. So that's fancy. Something else very nice is that you can actually open the back and clean the filter because if you have blow dryers, then you know they can get really messy and dusty behind here. So I like that you can just easily open it and clean the filter out. So far, so good. Good. So before I plug this bad boy in, I am going to apply my leave-in conditioner, which is a suave keratin infusion heat defense leave-in conditioner. It looks like this. I've used this thing forever. I actually need to get a new bottle because I'm running out. But I always apply this to my hair before I brush it through, every time I wash it. 
Once I've applied that to my hair, then I like to spray a L'Oreal blow dry, quick dry primer spray. And this cuts down on the dry time and it protects my hair from the heat. And God knows I need a lot of protection, all the protection I can get because I just bleached my entire head. And last but not least, before I actually brush out my hair, the last step, something that is completely new to my hair routine that I've been doing since I cut my hair is, I take this Suave Max Hold Hairspray and I just spray a little bit all over my head. And I find that this gives me a little bit more volume, more boost and more texture now that I have short hair and it lets me play and it just gives me more of a fun, cool look. Does that make sense? It is finally time to brush my hair. And ever since I cut my hair, it is so easy to brush it or really do anything to it. I love it. I love short hair. I feel like I'm never going back to long hair. Fast forward to two years from now when I have long hair, probably. I don't know. I change my mind so often, guys. <gasps> okay, now that my hair is brushed, I'm going to plug in the blow dryer and we're going to one, listen to how loud it actually is. And two, because I cut my hair, my hair drying routine has changed a little bit. So I no longer just go through with a brush. I occasionally take a brush here and there, but for the most part, I just kind of blow dry it all around. So this will give me a perfect opportunity to see really how fast this blow dryer dries. Okay, so it has the three buttons. It has a cool button, and then it has a lower one for on and off and the speed settings. So let's turn this thing on low and see how loud it actually is. That's actually not bad, you guys. Okay, let's turn it on high and see how loud it is. Okay, I will say this, it's definitely not as quiet as my other blow dryer, but it's definitely not super loud like my previous blow dryer that was, yeah, you did not wanna be near me when I was using that. I'm gonna put it on high. It is 335 right now, and we'll see actually how many minutes it takes me to blow dry my hair. just one minute later and believe it or not my hair is starting to feel pretty dry so before it is completely dry I did want to try the nozzle diffuser and then the other diffuser just to see how it feels with them on okay so I'm gonna put this diffuser on first normally I would use a diffuser like this if I was like taking a brush and brushing out my hair I am not doing that today but I still want to get a feel for it so here we go That gives me a lot of volume. I like it. Okay, so, so far I do have to say it blows a lot of air and I know that sounds kind of ironic because it is a blow dryer, that's what it's supposed to do, but it really does blow a lot of concentrated hot air. It doesn't blow like extremely hot, like it feels like it's gonna burn your face, you know that feeling, which I'm assuming is due to the negative ion technology. It gives that subtle heat that dries your hair super quick, but it doesn't feel like it's frying your hair at the same time. You know what I mean? The nozzle works great. I'm sure it would work even better if you were actually blow drying your hair out with a brush like I used to do when I had longer hair. So now, just because I'm curious, I am going to give this bad boy a try. I'm gonna put it on here. And I feel like I'm gonna be using this diffuser a lot more now that I have shorter hair. I can see me um, putting some mousse on my hair and just kind of bringing it up to my roots and giving me that nice curly voluminous look. First, I'm gonna add a little bit of this Suave Professionals Captivating Curls Whipped Cream Mousse. And this stuff is amazing for giving you a little bit more texture if you want more curly voluminous hair so and it's actually really fun to play with so i'm gonna add just a little bit of that just about that much take that on the palm of my hand and just a little bit goes a long way you guys look how much <laughs> so i'm gonna add that to the ends of my hair i love this stuff it smells so good and it holds my hair it gives me that nice little curliness without it looking crunchy you know the only bad thing with it is it makes your hands really really sticky so every time i use it i feel like i have to go wash my hands so i'm gonna take this diffuser and try it out with that product in my hair and see how it looks afterwards
Oh my goodness, I think I'm in love. Okay, you guys, call me crazy, but I have been so into these like curly waves lately and I think I just found a new favorite way to do this. I don't have a diffuser like this currently, but this thing, I feel like if you have short hair and you want this look, it's a must have, you guys. I haven't been able to get this nice, voluminous, curly look with just a mousse and my regular blow dryer ever since I cut my hair and I've been wanting it so bad. Just put some mousse in your hair and use this diffuser in particular and it does the trick you guys i am in love okay so let's wrap this up my thoughts on the blow dryer one it is not super loud two it does not feel like it's frying my hair thank god and three i am in love with this little diffuser thing that it comes with it is amazing for my short hair i feel like i found a new quick and easy routine for it now that i have this so i will definitely be using this on the regular so the verdict for the waster blow dryer if you're on the hunt for a good blow dryer that dries your hair pretty quick doesn't feel like it's damaging your hair and is affordable i do recommend it it is again 38 dollars on amazon so that's super convenient so yeah and it is purple don't forget that it looks pretty cute though so i think it'll be a good addition to your hair tools with that being said i hope you guys found this video helpful if you're on the hunt for a blow dryer then again watch my last video on my current blow dryer it is also a good one and i love that blow dryer but if you are again on a lower budget and you're looking for something more affordable that works great then definitely recommend this Wazer blow dryer and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel it is easy and free follow me on instagram i will have all of my information down below as well the blow dryer information and that is it for me. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye. Let's turn it on low and see how loud this thing actually is. That's not ideal. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't plug it in all the way. <laughs>